Hello everyone, and good morning to you again. Welcome to Christ Over Coffee. My name is Andrew Dixon, and I would like to welcome you to this very, very special episode this morning entitled Missionary Service. Today, I'm just going to be coming in very briefly at the beginning of this episode um, because we're actually going to have our very own vocations director, Sister Scholastica Wea, to close us out this very special day. And why is it special? Because this Sunday is Mission Sunday here at SSPS. And we take this time to not only remember missionaries before you know, who have gone on to be with the Lord, but even more so the missionaries who are currently serving worldwide right now. And so without further ado, let's get to it. Good morning to you, Andrew, and to our friends who join us today. I always look forward to the month of October. The color of the leaves begins to change and makes the tree so colorful and beautiful. Another special event during this month of October is Mission Sunday, a time when we celebrate and remember in a special way all the missionaries who zealously and faithfully dedicated themselves to sharing God's word. Whenever we talk about the mission, we talk about the Christian vocation. Our journey to mission begins when at baptism, we are incorporated into the church. Some of them later say yes to God's call to willingly offer themselves to participate more fully in God's project of salvation for all. Because of this, I would like to recall the quote of Pope Benedict XVI. The desire for a more meaningful life is a sign that God created us and that we bear His imprint. In this episode, we will hear stories about vocation and mission from some of our Holy Spirit missionaries. We hope their stories will inspire our friends out there especially those searching for meaning in their lives. Mission and missionary is witness. Jesus himself was sent. He was sent by the Father to reveal and to show to us the love, the kindness, the generosity, the care of the Father. We, in turn, through our baptism, are also sent. We are sent in mission to share again the love and kindness and generosity of God as revealed or shown to us through the scriptures, through the person of Jesus himself. What does that mean? That means that you, too, are missionary. It means that we are sent on a mission to be like Christ to one another. And mission does not necessarily mean going to some far-off country. It means in our daily life how we listen to one another, 
offer a helping hand or an encouraging word. For in the eyes of God, all of us are missionary. All of us are companions on the road. All of us are called to witness God's love wherever we are and however we are. Impelled by the Spirit's call to the church for a synodal journey. That's a familiar word now. We review and expand our collaboration, our networking, and our interconnectedness. We listen in a special way to the voices and the rhythms unique to lay people who seek to live the SSPS charism and spirituality as our partners and our companions in mission. Spirituality is what gives life, spirit, energy, and meaning. It's a vision and it's the relationship with God, with life, with creation, with ourselves and other human persons. It is letting our beliefs drop from our head into our heart, from the level of dogma to the level of experience. It is not something we merely believe, but something we know in our heart, in our mind, our muscles, our hands, our feet. It is the way we live our life, in love with God, in love with ourselves, in love with the whole of creation, and especially with our fellow human person. St. Arnold had a great passion to share the good news with the world. When St. Arnold was beatified, the lower church at the foundation site in style was decorated to become his tomb as well as a chapel. The stained glass window behind Arnold's tomb portrays God's hands reaching out into creation, filling the whole cosmos with the light and love of God. The two hands represent God's outreach to our world through the word of light and the spirit of love alive in our hearts. St. Arnold's famous motto becomes fulfilled in a special way through the outreach of his sons and daughters in mission. May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief vanish before the light of the word and the spirit of grace. God continues to outpour God's very self into creation, especially in all hearts. In Jesus, God invites participation in God's life and mission to let the two hands hold, enfold, and nourish creation, filling it with light and love. I am really happy to be able to share today about something that is very important to me. That is justice, peace, and integrity of creation. JPIC. This is an important ministry in our communities throughout the U.S. and the Caribbean islands. We are mainly focused on immigration, the elimination of human trafficking, and emphasizing preserving the wonderful gift of creation. We also try to bring attention to, and provide information about other important issues, such as gun violence, racism, women's children, workers' rights, the right to vote, the use of plastic, peace, and other issues that are so interrelated. We also have an external network where we reach out to other organizations that have the same values for life and for the vulnerable. We have found that there is a greater strength and impact in numbers. When I was a young sister, 
the sisters often talked, my companions often talked about how, you know, Judy, you are um, sometimes so pompous. When you talk, you talk like you know what you're talking about. And I said, well, I do know what I'm talking about, otherwise I wouldn't talk. But on the other hand, they were saying something to me about how I came across to them. Maybe putting them down, making them sound. So I decided I'd try to work and be a little more gentle in how I said what I was thinking or feeling or doing. Now we go 30 years later and the provincial has talked to me and she says, you know, Judy, sometimes you really irritate people. Oh, yeah, what you say. I said, what I say? No, no, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. You talk like you know what you're talking about. And I said, yeah, people have been telling me that for 30 years. And her comment back was, I would think you would change by now. And my answer, God's not finished with me yet. So it's not how we succeed, but are we trying? It's not how we succeed in changing the world, but are we trying to make a difference? Are we trying to reach out? That's missionary life. And it doesn't matter where I'm sitting in a wheelchair or I'm out on what we call the front lines with a food line of people who are starving and hungry or a group of migrants who don't know where home is anymore. It doesn't matter. It's wherever we are, we make that difference of being in love with God. In love meaning in God's love. It means in God's world. It means being in your love. This is what it is to be missionary. Working together with the missionary sisters, servants of the Holy Spirit all around the world. Thank you so much for watching our videos. By sharing our history and our spirituality, it's not only for you to know who we are, but we would like to invite you, all of you, to get to know us more deeper and to get in contact with us through our social media platform, through our Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and also our phone number below. So again, thank you so much. We are hoping to get to know all of you and we are hoping to hear from all of you. Thank you.